Hello Pisces, it's your girl Blue and I'm back with a reading for us today. I hope this reading finds you well, love. And if you're not, it's my intention that you will be by the end of this reading. So come on in my loves. Thank y'all for coming back home to your home planet. And if this is your first time here, thank you so much for coming home baby make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't get lost out here in these youtube streets we will send you all your citizenship paperwork via mail okay <laughs> all right y'all oh, oh we got one coming out all right the queen of cups already okay so your energy is you you're being you pisces the best thing you could be okay all right so i want to see what is going on with your little life what you are attracting. I don't know what you what you're doing. The seven of wands. What you doing? All right, we're gonna see though. Whatever it is, you giving out the energy that you are receiving, which is good. This is how it's supposed to be, right? <clears throat> I, I'm gonna give and I expect to receive, okay? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces and love, please? Come on, union. <laughs> okay. It's something about your shadow, though, because guilty is here and facing my shadows. Okay, some of you guys could be it, coming to a realization is giving me more of placing your desires uh, uh, in more importance. I didn't say that right. <laughs> Considering your desires more, I guess would be a better way to say it okay we got cupid here y'all <laughs> what's coming towards pisces and love please okay indication <clears throat> but there's something about your shadow here and then right up under that you have take the weight of the world off your shoulders the world is blessed to have you you are a divine facet of the universe i feel like and then look exactly spirit this is what i'm feeling i lovingly accept myself it's something about I feel as though I'm talking to someone who was very much, um, it's not giving people please, but it's giving like, maybe instead of speaking your mind, you just let things go. You don't want to start a conflict or something like that. It's something like that about like accepting yourself for who you are, right? And expecting others to respect you as well, right? Okay. And uh, expecting others, come on, this is so good, Pisces. Not gonna get emotional today, okay? I'm very queen of cups right now. But it's it's like you're putting yourself in a position that if you do not receive what you are given in any relationship, you good. Da, da, da. Okay, I feel like I'm speaking to someone today who has faced their demons, has tackled their shadows, and you are integrating your shadows. Um into your life okay right for some of y'all y'all could have felt like y'all could you could have experienced one-sided relationships where you felt kind of like you know everything was on you right that's what it's giving me but you are a divine facet of this universe and the world is blessed to have you pisces anybody is blessed to have you okay and i feel as though i'm speaking to someone who knows that and that stands strong in that power, true love, exactly, for yourself first, right? Okay, from yourself, for yourself first, right? We can only expect other people to treat us how we treat ourselves. And if we're not holding ourselves in a high honor, how can we expect someone else to, right? So, Spirit, what are they attracting in love? Wow. Cherish. All right, so you could be dating all right, value stayed in the um the deck. So let's just put that in there. What is Pisces attracting in love spirit? Whoa. Emotion. Interesting. This is too many, way too many. Let's do that again. Spirit, what can Pisces? I mean, what are they attracting in love spirit? Don't forget to hit that like button for your girl. I do appreciate it. That is an exchange of energy. Okay, right? What you give out, you get back. Give your girl some love, you get it back. <laughs> All right, we got Link here and true love fell out. <laughs> this is so 
nice. I love this. All right, Sphere, we're going to go one more time and then we're going to break it down, okay? What is Pisces attracting in love, please? I heard deeply rooted love. My God. Deeply rooted. Strong. Stable. Secure. All right. The color red could be significant right now. I feel like whatever this is could be filled with passion. It's something about a potential here, though. Okay. It's something about a potential. And here we have emotion on the bottom. Interesting. What else, spirit? And then on this card, it says true love appears when you least expect it. <laughs> you see that? Look. So this is giving me like somebody who is manifesting love in their life, right? Or uh, even for those of y'all that may be in relationship, reigniting that or uh, bringing some sort of fire back into it. But it's something about like when you're not even looking, <laughs> right? Like you're detached from the outcome. You've put your intentions out there to attract what you want, who you want, how you want it. Ta -ta -ta. Right? And then you go on about your business. And then blood I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Synchronicity. Okay. So be on the lookout for synchronicity surrounding this true love. Okay. So um, it says divine soul matches have amazing moments of synchrony. All right. Anything else, spirit? This card is upside down. What's that? Trust. Trust, Pisces. Something is going to occur unexpectedly when you're not thinking about it like your attention will not be on it i'm telling you trust true love look look y'all look nah. true love trust and union like literally i'm so excited for you so let's find out about the person okay let's see who this is all right spirit Tell us a little bit about this person. Ooh, you, ooh, whatever, who, ooh, whoever this is, they, ooh. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's giving me tower, a tower moment. A Scorpio could be significant, all right? I feel as though this union is going to move pretty quickly. Okay, you got admiration, connection, and acceleration. This looks like, I don't even, it's super cliche, but it's like love at first sight. This is giving love at first sight. Wow, Pisces. Wow, it says your, your connection is eternal and unbreakable. Wow, this person is going to appreciate you. This person is going, is it's is giving right now six of pentacles. We're gonna see them. <laughs> you know, we'll be on one road, and then the cards come out and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> We're gonna speak into existence that this is gonna be a beautiful reading, okay? All right. So something's gonna happen with speed and all of a sudden. All right, spirit. Tell us about this person that admires Pisces, this true love, please. The Nine of Pentacles, okay. I'm gonna get a few though, y'all. Tell me more, please, about this person. So, so far, <laughs> oh shit. It looks like this person may be well established. Ooh, you got the Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords on the bottom. Oh, Lord. Interesting. Tell me more, Spirit, about this person. The number 95 could be significant. 59. Okay. Tell us more about this person, please, Spirit. What's going on with them? Who this is? Seven of Wands. What's going on with this person? They got the Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands. 79, 97 could be significant. All right. 75, 57. The King of Swords and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. 
All right, let's get a few more. Tell us more about this person. And then we're going to break, <clears throat> break this down. Alright, so this person does look like they're single and ready to mingle, but they got something going on here. It could be in their family. This person, the King of Swords, you got <clears throat> the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Cups, okay? Give me a minute. Give me one for the Nine of, uh, nine of Cups. Damn, damn, I'm gonna get it. Nine of Pentacles, Spirit. The two of wands. Give me one for the five of wands. Why is that here, spirit? What is that about? Mmm. The king of pentacles wanted to fall out. And the three of swords is underneath that. Who is this? Who is this in reference to? Like, what's going on with the five of wands? And they'll go to King of Pentacles on the bottom. What's the Five of Wands spirit? The Five of Cups. 55 could be significant. All right, let's do the Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands? This looks like this person just went through some sort of disappointment or is going through it. Possibly in a family. What's the seven of wands? The ace of wands. Okay. And the ten of cups. This person has a destination that they're going for. It's something... <clears throat> this person is single, right? Looks like they're ready to mingle. But it's something that this person is going through right now. Some sort of growth, some some stage of growth that they're going to, uh, that they're going through. Okay, I'm going to get some clarifiers from somebody, y'all, to see what this is that they are fighting with, though. What is this, spirit? Okay, for some of them, they could be pregnancy is here. Hold on and commitment shit if they not single it look like they trying to be single look yes <laughs> what's the five of wands spirit uh what's the five of wands Date night, love spell, distance. Interesting. Hold on for a second, y'all. This person could stay a distance from you. Somebody, this Lord, somebody, Lord. <laughs> somebody, you might have a, a, a secret crush. Okay, somebody secretly crushing on you, trying to hold themselves back. Definitely. With love spell clarifying the five of wands and date night. Okay, and then you got the four of pentacles over here like holding themselves back. Okay. What's the uh expect look with distance? Okay, so they don't have to live a distance from you. This could like they are trying to hold themselves, or they ain't no trying, they are holding themselves back. What's so crazy is is that this is bringing them disappointment. They don't want to hold themselves back. So why are they? What's going on that Pisces need to know about about this person's spirit? All right, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer could be significant. This person going through something, though, I feel. Like, it's more than just that, y'all. What is this person going through? Let me get another deck. I don't think this one will answer that. Air sign on the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Give me a moment.
this person could feel like you have a lot of eyes on you and that they would have to really compete for your attention and your love. What is this person? What are their intentions with Pisces spirit? Something's going on with this person, though, that's causing them to have like a lack of drive or something. Okay. How do I explain this? They have a goal in mind that they want to achieve. Somewhere they want to go, something they want to obtain, something of that nature. But they're holding their self back from this for some reason. This person could want to grow their family with you. All right. We did see pregnancy earlier as well. What's the seven of wands spirit? With the ace of wands. I wanted to see something real quick, y'all. This person is fighting for a new beginning. They are fighting, like literally. What are they fighting, spirit? Like, what is this that they're fighting? The Page of Cups. They fucking intuition. <laughs> like, what the hell? It just felt, it, it just, when I put it down, it turned over into reverse, but... This person may need to get in touch with their inner child. Somebody needs to go have some damn fun. This person's nervous system could be kind of shot because it's giving me very much fight or flight. What's the Ten of Cups with the Three of Wands, please, for this person? The Temperance. Mm. this person is preparing for a family like that is something that's what they desire and they want to take the right step what's holding them back from taking these steps towards this spirit the six of cups they're freaking past Tell me more. What's holding them back from taking these steps towards their desired outcome? The emperor. This person could have uh, children or responsibilities. People they have to take care of. Okay. Give me more. Tell me what else is going on with this person's spirit for Pisces. This person that they are attracting into their life. magician this person holds great power within it's something about growing their family though like this person could want more children could like want to get married want to build a home together like this person wants a family life like they want a family life and it looks as though this person is preparing for it What's the Five of Cups by itself, Spirit? I'm telling you, this person has some sort of disappointment in a family unit before, in a past connection. It could be with a baby mama, baby daddy, or just an ex or something. It could be from their childhood, y'all. It's going to be different for everybody, okay? But something has, has, has made this person sad. They have taken some sort of loss in, their, in, in a home, in a home setting, okay? Hmm. Children could be very significant here. This person is, uh, children are significant. All right, just, yeah. You got the emperor, the ace of wands, the four of wands, and two children out here, and the six of cups. The four of cups on the bottom of the deck. They ready for a change, y'all. 44 could be significant. All right, 55. 
All right, 11. With this magician and the ace of wands. All right. All right, spirit. What's the ace of wands by itself? The knight of swords. This person is, look. <laughs> this person is manifesting you, okay? And like I said, something's gonna happen quick between y'all. I don't know if it's gonna be like literally love at first sight. Y'all gonna get married two months from, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, what's the seven of wands by itself, spirit? The hangman. Okay, this person is still like, I feel as though this person is trying to learn how to move forward in a relationship without like having their guard up so high okay it's something about this person looking at the way that they are the energy they are putting out is something about them looking at the energy or excuse me noticing the energy that they are putting out into the universe as far as in relationships tell me about the five of wands by itself please King of Pentacles. What's the King of Pentacles? For some of y'all, this could be same sex or something. All right. Like, it's something about same sex here for somebody. Okay. All right. Three of Swords. This this person is getting over. This person invested a lot in someone else <clears throat> in the past. You got the Knight of the Knight. Damn, the King ga, 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 of Pentacles <laughs> with the Nine of Wands. Like this person took definitely took a loss in an investment they made <clears throat> in the past in someone. Okay. Telling you now, three of swords. All right, spirit. So, what can Pisces expect from this person? Like, what are their intentions with Pisces? No. No. What is this? Eight of swords. What are their intentions with Pisces? The full. Hold on, y'all. Let me clear the board. Your A-R-T. Um. That song, uh, I forgot to tell y'all at the beginning of the reading. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. That song was in my head. I don't know, maybe it could be significant for you. Spirit. What are their intentions with Pisces? The Ace of Wands. Oh, Jesus. This is an interesting spread. This person could really want to it's almost giving trap though. I'm not gonna be honest. I mean, I'm not gonna be honest. I'm definitely gonna be honest. I'm not gonna lie. That's giving me like, I wanna trap you with a baby almost. Like somebody really want a family with you Pisces, but shit, don't do that though. Don't be trapping nobody person, okay? Fuck. <laughs> Give me another one, spirit, I'm scared. It doesn't, it doesn't look, look. <laughs> what was that? The five of wands on the bottom deck. Okay, I'm gonna need this person. Look, nose itching. I'm gonna need this person to deal with whatever they they had going on in the background. Whatever, not in the background, but in their past. Whatever happened in this person's past, they still holding on to something like that, and that's why their guard was uh was was up, right? This person, if they try to handle you in the same way that they handled their last relationship, they're gonna lose that. They're gonna lose that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is used to a combative partner. 
That's what it like literally, y'all. Look, the five of wands. This part. I'm about, oh shit. That just made me nauseous. Ew. This it's something about this person's money or something, too. Like. Okay. Let's get another spray up under this and then we're gonna clarify. One for the eight of one uh source, please. For their intentions with Pisces. The last card that came out, y'all, was the four of uh the four of wands. Like this person wants to create a family with you, right? In the nine of cups up under the eight of swords. This is, this is crazy. It's almost like <clears throat> This person may try to overly convince you that you that they are the right one for you. I just heard, or you could be doing this. Put the energy where it go, okay? I hope it's not you, though. All right? Like, baby, you ain't got to do all of that, okay? Give me one for the fool. The Ten of Cups. I'm <laughs> Give me one for the Ace of Wands for the star oh my god <laughs> this is so nice one for the four of cups i mean the four, lord have mercy the four of wands oh my gosh the five of cups that's what i'm talking about so you got all these beautiful and then the the cherry on the bottom it's lingering shit with this person i mean of course we're not all perfect and even your spread earlier says you are still dealing with shadow aspects of yourself right with um with loving yourself accepting yourself dealing with your shadows integrating them whole so you don't take your past trauma into your next relationship right I feel as though because this person starts with the Eight of Swords and they leave with the Five of Cups, this person is giving me very much defeatist mentality. Like, I don't know if I said that right. Defeated. I don't. Anyway, like, it's almost giving me, like, this person has a lot of hope and a, and, and a lot of... Oh, I'm not saying it to question, my mom. Sorry. It's in their energy. They got to clear their energy. They got to clear their auric field or something because this person experienced a loss that really hit them and hurt them deeply. And they're still kind of holding on to it. This person may have a few controlling tendencies, okay, that they may need to work on. Um, all right, some about rainbows or over the rainbow or so shit. So, Skittles, I, okay. I feel like this person is very, very attractive. <laughs> very attractive. Okay, ain't no wands. King or queen of wands came out, but I just saw in my, look now. Nah, okay, let me find out what this eight of swords is and um the five of cups what is the eight of swords for their intentions with pisces hold on y'all let me read this board real quick bees could be significant okay somebody could like really like um i heard r and b but <laughs> that's kind of vague though uh anyway spirit what's the eight of swords with the nine of cups underneath it's like this person, it's almost like talking itself out of, out of happiness almost. Uh, not like they too much in their head or something. And this person keeps reliving their past. And it's almost like they have an expectation that their future is going to be a repeat of their past. And guess what? It will be as long as they keep that mentality, right? Let me tell you. Let me show y'all 12 laws of the universe. This morning, I was reading about the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. I never knew which law it was, but I've always say that where your attention goes, your energy flows. That's literally the law of perpetual transmutation. <laughs> okay, that's what like the eighth law of the universe. Okay, energy is always moving and always changing. But if you focus your energy on the outcome you do not want, guess what? If that's where your attention is, that's where your energy is going to flow. That's where God is going to lead you. I ain't going to say God, the universe, okay? <laughs> Same difference to me, but, you know, but anyway. um, But, yeah, 
all right? This person's attention, as long as they keep thinking about their past, right? Or some sort of disappointment, they're going to manifest that same shit. Bless the Lord. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer could be significant here. What's the Eight of Swords for this person? The King of Pentacles. A boat ride could be significant. That's what that just made me think of. What's the Five of Cups spirit? The moon. Yep. Look at this person's shadow. Speaking loud. Loudly in this reading. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Right? That they that's the illusion that they believe that their future is going to be a, a repeat of their past jesus fear anxiety ew what's the king of pentacles with the eight of swords for their intentions with pisces please the knight of wands it's giving me an energy of this person is gonna have to like warm up to you to literally trust you to um it's giving me a watchful eye too like i don't know what's the king of pentacles with the eight of swords and the knight of wands for their intentions with pisces i'm telling you i'm telling you it's like this person is looking at like okay this person could have an avoid avoidant attachment style, all right? Because, um, look, I call back my power just uh, stuck on the board. Anyway, let's just get into it. I feel like this person wants to invest, but they feel as though it's going to be a gamble. You understand what I'm telling you? I'm telling you when I tell you what I tell you. I'll be telling you now. Look. Look. Gambling. Cycles. They feel like they're going to repeat a cycle from their past. I'm telling you. This person needs to listen to their intuition and open up their heart. Bless them, Lord. All right, spirit. So what's your advice for Pisces with this person? This person is giving very self-sabotage. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to even lie. Spirit. What's your advice for Pisces with this person? You got the empress on the bottom of the deck. Emperor came out earlier for them. High priestess. Follow your intuition. 33, 33 on the clock. Wow. This person needs to call their power back. That's what they need to do. Hmm. You got the death. And the hangman. With the Empress, all major arcanas, I feel like, I feel like y'all are being brought together to teach each other something, honestly. I feel as though this person is coming into your life to help you see something different, and you're coming into their life to help them see something different. Honestly, you got the High Priestess, the Death, and the um, the Hangman with the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Like I said earlier, you could have been a type to per type of person to give, 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 and the like. The other way wasn't quite doing the same thing. You weren't receiving the energy you were giving out. I feel as though this person, one of y'all, is going to learn a lesson of receiving, how to receive, and another one of y'all is going to learn a lesson on how to trust, okay? All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Pisces, as y'all can see, your girl is already decked out, ready for the beach, so I'm about to go ahead that way, you understand me, water baby in the house, okay? It's Pisces, we need that water. 
Anyway, bye, Pisces. I love you. Don't y'all forget to go register for the new moon in Gemini ceremony on the 4th of June. We're going to do Reiki distance, Reiki healing. We may do a little light language activations as well. Um, and whatever else spirit uh, puts on my heart to bring up during that ceremony. And then on June the 15th, uh, Jay Marion and I will be hosting our very first ever tarot party. It is called Afterthought Uncut, just raw. You understand me? So if you want to join that party, both of them will be on Zoom um, for the tarot party. We're going to do a spread, a few spreads actually um specifically for the people who are there for the party and if you have questions or anything on your mind that you want to share with us we're gonna open up the floor let y'all do that and two lucky people will read a will, will win a personal reading from me and jay marion so check all the information out it should be listed in the pin comment down below and if not in there you can check our community tab to uh, go grab your spot, okay? Spots are limited. So first come, first serve, all right? I love y'all so much, Pisces. Don't forget to like the video, share your planet, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, babes.